In this video, we'll go through another example on using Lang integrals to compute the work done by a force in moving a particle from one point to another. In this example, we have the following force. Uh, and it's acting on a particle, moving it along a curve parametrized by this equation. So x is equal to u, y is equal to u squared, and z is equal to u cubed. And uh, we're interested in going, so this is from the point zero, zero, zero to the point one, one, one. So x, y, and z equal to zero all the way to x, y, and z is equal to one. And before we get into the details of how to calculate it, uh, I wanted to show you what this curve looks like. Okay, so the curve parametrized by this equation looks something like this, where you see it curves around towards x and then eventually starts moving up to z is equal to one, when y and x are also equal to one. So this gives you an example of what kind of curves you can represent with this parametric representation that we saw. So in the lectures, we saw that to calculate a line integral where your path is parametrized like this, one way of doing it is by uh, finding the norm of the derivative of your parametric representation with respect to the parameter u, and then uh, finding the, the product of the force with the tangent vector along that curve. Oftentimes this tangent vector is difficult to find. So we're going to go back, we're going to back. to the norm of the derivative of r with respect to u times du times the tangent vector, or in other words, writing it out like this. This means that we can bring the du over to this side. And we're left with this expression. Okay, so we can go back over here, replace this t hat norm of dr over du by this expression over here. So that means that the work is equal to f dot dr du integrated over du. And instead of canceling these out, we're going to use this form in this example to calculate the work. So our parametric representation is given up here. We can find the derivative of that with respect to u. So it's given by i hat plus two u j hat plus three u squared k hat. Can find the dot product of our force with respect to this derivative that we just computed up here. And the thing to keep in mind is we need to evaluate the force with the x, y, and z as they depend on our parameter u. So what that means is this is our, our force. 
over here. So wherever you see an X, you need to replace that by U. Wherever you see uh, a Y, you need to replace that by U squared. And whenever you see a Z, you need to replace that by U cubed because that's our parametrization for our curve. So this becomes U, U squared, U to the six, U, U squared, U cubed, K hat. Okay, so this is our new expression for the force under the parametrization of our curve. Okay, so these are the details that we need. We're trying to calculate the work using this equation. This is the parametric representation of our curve. This is this derivative, and this is our force with x, y, and z rep, uh, represented according to this equation. So x is equal to u, y is equal to u squared, and z is equal to u cubed. So taking the dot product of these two, get u cubed plus 2u minus u to a 6. So the j hat components are together, the, y, the i hat components are together. And the Okay, so we're left with something that looks like that. So the work equal to this. So we have u cubed minus two u to the seven plus three u to the eight du. And this was the reason why we didn't cancel out these du's because we needed a differential to be able to respect with to be able to integrate with respect to. Okay, we said that we want to go from uh, the origin to the point one one one. That means that our limits of integration are from zero to one for u. And then you just carry out these integrations. This one is e to the four one over four evaluated at your limits of integration. Okay, evaluating the limits, then you just get one quarter. Plus three to the eight. Okay. This should actually be a nine. This is a nine. So you're left with one over third, one third, let's say joules as the unit of work. Okay, so this is another example of how you use line integrals. We did in the context of calculating work, but they come up in other applications as well. And this is how you would generally do it for a parametric representation of your curve.